Anyway, be like, just say like, hi everybody. This is my 2007 Ford F-150 that I just picked up. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and get the bed off it to inspect the frame damage it had because I only paid 1,200 bucks for it. Um, you gotta ask a good question. So I'll like uh, ask like uh, uh, I don't know. What do you think? You got anything? Got it covered. We just I did the lips. No, shut the fuck up, the dude. You're you not the doing the lips. Be like, uh, let us know down in the comments if you guys ever had any f rusty frames. And welcome to Tallgrad. So go ahead. Boom, got it. I did the lips where you said all that. I moved my lips while you said Start that. Start talking. Do what I said, say what I said to say. I don't remember what you said. And look at the camera. Oh, look at the camera. Hey, everybody. It's your favorite YouTube creator, Tall, back at it again. I want everybody to say hello to Adam, who is a little bit camera shy. Uh, we argued the entire time trying to get him to do the intro for this video. So what is this video, you may ask? Well, my buddy Adam here, he just bought that truck there in the background. It's a 2007 F-150, as you may have heard, and it had a rusty frame rail. A, a very rusty frame rail. So to prevent it rusting in half like you've seen I told him that to help him fix it now having never done this before uh, we made some mistakes but overall I think the job came out pretty nice so without further ado we're gonna get right into this video and we'll show you what we did and made happen let me know down in the comments what projects have you helped your buddies finish up and welcome to Hall Garage. So since Adam didn't want to be on camera doing the voice work, I made him do all the actual work. I wasn't getting paid after all. We probably should have showed the frame what it looked like before he started cutting, but eh. Here it is though, you can kind of get a good idea of, of how bad it was, especially further up and down at the bottom. So executive decision, we just cut off the bottom of the frame rail. I think we did about two inches up from the bottom. It, it was pretty bad. Like you'll see here in just a second, uh, what all came out of there. The other side isn't as bad, which I don't really show. That's where all the fuel stuff is. So we made the best of a situation. We didn't want to do that side anyway. But here's the piece you can cut out. Pretty Swiss cheese all through i saw the whole bottom of the frame roll was and then yeah a bunch of fun confetti coming out of the bottom of it so we got all that out and well i'll let adam tell you all right so just like christmas morning when your parents got you something you gotta hold it up and show me You're gonna like you're gonna like the video, the intro to the, the AC video, Kyle. Oh, I need a really good picture of your truck from the side. So when you get a chance, take me a nice picture. Send it to me. Nice. Do you have a paddle shift? Now that's steel? That's just mild steel, right? Yeah, Okay. Show me them. Ooh, no, show it. Show it. Hold it up, honey. Show everybody what you got. Nice. That's the bottom. Yep, yep, nice, nice. Very cool, very cool. Yes, it's probably a little sharp. They have a D, they have a D sharpening process. Another metal, another bottom. Nice, yeah. You have heated seats. Are they leather? They're yeah, they're 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 not cloth, they're they're something, they're like pleather. Big side. Big side, cool. Nice. Last one. Nice. What a whole lot of angles, though. I thought, I thought it was going to be more angles. All right, Adam, I want to say thanks, Sen Cut Sen, and give a big thumbs up. Thanks, Sen Cut Sen. Yeah! 
So little did we know that <laughs> they make re frame rail like you slide on, you weld them on. We didn't know that at the time. So uh, my good friend at Send Cut Send hooked us up, hooked Adam up. It was a little bit more expensive than the uh, the slip on one that you can just buy for like 160 bucks. I think this is like I don't know, a little over 200, but a thicker gauge steel, you know, it's welded on good. So right before this, we were just wiping down, getting all the Cosmoline off of the metal. Uh, and then we hit her with some, what I thought was weld through primer. It wasn't. Here's the first fit up. Us just, you know, getting everything checked and getting everything fitting around all the cross members and the bracings on the truck. And did a really good job for the most part. Some of the gaps were eh, not as nice as I would have liked them, but what are you going to do in a project like this? So lots of fitting, lots of he hauling around. Uh, but after a while, it started to fit pretty well. Speaking of send cut send everybody uh, in the link of the description, there will be a maker code from yours. Truly, you click the link, you put in your email, you get a free I think it's 15% off your first order of Send Cut Send. So definitely give them a shout out. Give them a look. They're great. Lots of high quality work going on there. So definitely want you to check them guys out. But yeah, so just more fit up with Adam. Lots of fit up. I should have made him clean everything much more because uh, it turns out his version of clean and my version of clean are two very different things, but we'll save that for later. But yeah, um, lots of this fit up, getting the metal set flush, going around. I think we're going around like the hanger for the leaf spring right now, just getting everything measured up so I can cut it. Speaking of Adam cutting it, here is some video evidence of him cutting metal. Ooh wee, look at him go, right? I'm always really impressed with Adam's attire when he comes over to work on stuff with me. Uh, shorts and t-shirt. I mean, yeah, I know it's hot, but I don't know. His legs get awful dirty. <laughs> so anyway, what's next? Um, oh yeah, all right. So I finally get around to getting the fitment right with him and I start tacking her on, which, you know, went pretty well, except for the fact that uh, this isn't well through primer. Um, it's acid edge primer, which is nice, but it's not well through primer. So that caused a bunch of issues later on, along with Adam's uh, definition of clean. So. Anyway, don't forget to go to movie theaters next Friday and catch Deadpool and Wolverine. Time to collect my paycheck. So yeah, so we got it to welding, and uh, it, you know, like I said, it, it went okay. The metal wasn't as clean as I wanted it to be, and uh, I got sick of it real quick because it kept popping, and I kept burning myself, and of course, you know, Adam can't freaking weld, right? Uh, and this definitely wasn't the time to learn, and I'm, I'm getting frustrated, so. So uh, after... Um, I got frustrated. We asked the big dog himself, uh, Brother Kyle. We asked Brother Kyle to step in and take over. And uh, he made extremely short work of the welding. Now the welds, were, me and my brother both agree, they're not up to our usual level of, uh, quality but you know it is what it is and we did it for free so i'm just going to give you guys like a little little overview of the welds like so they're not great they're not horrible that it is what it is it's definitely stronger than it was i hope but yeah a little bit more porosity than i would have liked and like i said that the acid edge primer just kind of messed up a lot of the welds but you know overall uh adam's happy so we're pretty happy, right? And uh, after we hit her with some primer, she'll be ready to go. Or so we thought. Uh, we had, we noticed a constant puddle of gear oil under the truck as it set 
you know, in between us working on it. And he had a big gnarly rust hole in the diff cover. So after hunting one of those down new and filling her back up, then it was ready to go until he blew a brake line, pulling it into the garage one day. And we had to fix that. But then after that, it was truly ready to go. How do you feel with your new truck all fixed? I feel fantastic. I can tell she's happy. All right, well, drive safe, buddy. Bye. Bye. So that's the video, everybody. Now you may be asking yourself, Ken, why'd you make this video? Where's the 300? Where's all these other cool projects you got going on? And I'm sorry to tell you, fellas, this is the kind of stuff I've been doing lately, man. Just helping out buds, helping out my brother, little little random stuff like this, you know. The big stuff's coming. It just, it takes time. And I am super broke. <laughs> so, hey, if you made it this far, I am going to push my Patreon. Woo! Link in the description, right? Uh, yeah, it's less than a cup of coffee a month. Um, and if all 4,000 of you uh you know do you know help support the channel in that way um stuff could get done a lot faster so keep that in mind if you know you uh you feel like being charitable to old ken a little bit goes a long way uh, we're all working together so that's one of the biggest comments i get on the channel consistently is why aren't you done yet and uh, like i told them you know if uh, everybody that asked me why i wasn't done yet gave me a dollar i would be done so <laughs> uh, also hey i want to say we got a facebook page right everybody should go check out the facebook page it's usually full of uh, memes that I find humorous about cars, uh, project updates that don't get posted to the channel, and just stuff like that. You know, we're building a little bit of a community over there. So if you want to come over and check it out, um, please do. And until next time, guys, uh, this is Tall Garage signing out. Y'all have a good one. Was the best I could do. I don't need the best. Give me your worst. I don't care. Worst. Hey guys, welcome to Auto Garage. Uh, my name's Adam. I've got like this 2007 Ford F 150 off of uh, Facebook. And it's pretty fucked up. You know, structural damage, uh, you know, leaks and core and all that. So today we're going to take this off, this thing, whatever it's called. The bed? Oh, the truck bed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to take this. <laughs> You're gonna be really mad if I put this on Facebook and everybody makes, or put this on YouTube and everybody makes fun of you. Come on, job. just do that, but, but a little bit more serious, please. Yeah, I, I feel like I nailed it out of the park.